two one. We figured we'd get the snatch strap ready. It's insane, insane. Another beautiful day cruising the tracks of Fraser Island. Today's a long one. We're going from Kingfisher Bay to Huron, the biggest settlement, and then straight up the beach, all the way to Champagne Falls and Indian Head. It's supposed to be a lot of sea life, beautiful swimming. And man, you're on the beach, you're on Fraser. It couldn't be anything but perfect. So this is Huron, um, the major settlement on the island sandy small villas it's pretty nice and it's got a bakery with coffee with coffee which is always good we've just hit the beach again after having a little look, look after having a little look around the town of Euron and they've stopped also there's a big branch on your exhaust oh and you lost your bumper Look at the bumper, it's full of, full of dirt. That's cool. Oh, we should probably fix that. Got any gaffer tape? First injury on the Tiguan. Fixed. Nice. Good repairing. Good repair work. See that? I should have been a mechanic. So today's trip is perfectly timed around the tides. Um, just looking at the beach, we've got, you know, a good hundred meters of, of room to drive on. But you can see the high tide mark from last night and it, it's basically on those dunes. So at high tide, you can't, well, you can't take the highway. Supposedly, you drive here um, two hours either side of low tide. So we should have plenty of time to get up to Indian Head and get back down and into the inland before the tide gets gets too high. Got into the champagne. Is place. there? Yeah. Right. Head down there. Thanks. That is a nice spot. Just next to that big heavily. walking down the boardwalk towards the Champagne Falls which are just little rocky areas where the ocean water goes into them. Midway up the island, right on the coast, it's a little protected area. And it looks gorgeous. There are these awesome squirty things on this rock. They're so cool, hey? Past Champagne Pools is a lovely orchid beach, little town, pretty much just a service station. Um, but you know, fantastic sandy road through the forest, lots of undergrowth and ferns. Nowhere better to go after a great swim in the Champagne Pools. Now we're headed down the sandy track to the beach.
yeah, a bit of a bumpy bit on that um, Indian head bypass. Sort of launch the car off a few things. See, is this meant to be like this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that we are back from Champagne Pools, we are doing a bush tucker tasting at the Kingfisher Resort. It actually wasn't too expensive, $20 a head. I love learning about bush foods, so I'm excited for tonight. It's red meat, which is quite strange for a bird. That's purely because emus have a protein called myoglobin in their system. It's like capillary. They grow on a bush with a very, very sharp spine. Much like the finger life, they've got about three times the amount of vitamin C as an orange. Crocodile and pesto. So it's a bit of a lazy day back at the house for everyone else, but I'm going to spend the morning fishing because there are a lot of people doing it yesterday on the eastern side of the island. Look pretty fun. Alrighty, so got the rig set up, got the bait on. Go and chuck it in. Interesting to note though, like up and down the beach. There's barely anyone, whereas yesterday it was packed. Yeah, so no luck at that spot. Um, so I'll keep going down the beach, try and find another place. Hopefully with some fish. Radio, she's in. Now we wait and soak up some sunshine. So left the beach and driving back to Lake Mackenzie to meet everyone else and um, I'm reversing up the track because the bloody 79 series is bogged. Oh well, offered a hand and everything, they got a winch there, lots of trees around. Just waiting at the top of the hill or the closest pullover point um, for this land cruiser to get through, taking their sweet time. but. Yeah, not the worst place to have to wait a couple minutes. It's pretty much paradise. We've made it to Lake Mackenzie. Xavier's not here yet. I got a few texts that I won't repeat explaining that he's stuck behind a bogged 79 series Land Cruiser on the way here. So we'll see how long it takes him to get here. But for now, let's go check out the lake. Alrighty, so drove to Lake Mackenzie and now just walking down the path, meet everyone else there. Quite a nice drive. Get the view of the lake along half the way and yeah, it's all through those big thick trees. Sandy tracks of course. Fraser's just fantastic. I found everyone else. Lake Mackenzie has no streams or rivers or anything that run into it. It's entirely rainwater. So we're just trying to figure out if there could be any fish or anything in it. Don't know how they get here. It looks shallower, didn't it? But also, some of the most clear water I've ever seen. Fraser is just absolutely wowed me. Well, there's a sign. Turns out 
little Fraser Island is not an island. It's a peninsula. And we didn't need to swim here. So we're just walking back along the boardwalks now. It's a sad day. We're leaving Fraser Island. Fraser Island. Got to chuck it up there. Right up in there. In there, done it. We'll definitely be back for more. But on to Brisbane, catching the ferry back. Oh, is that it? That'll be right. Is that our ferry? Did you guys go in behind that van with the loader on the back of it? Yeah, no problem. We are reversing off the ferry on Fraser Island. I think they're struggling to get the Tiguan off because it's got such low clearance. Yeah, they need, they've got special wood boards just for that one. On Harvey Bay now. Yeah, uh, back in Harvey Bay. That happened quickly. Felons Brewery in Brisbane. changes to our plans with all of the COVID lockdowns and stuff with WA so we're not going to be able to do the second half of the lap but never fear we've got so much content coming up and some pretty exciting news. We're rebranding as Next Stop Touring so keep an eye out for our content. Next Stop could be anywhere. Next Stop could be anywhere. Yes yeah, so we got a lap summary coming up that'll give you like overviews of how much it cost us, what we spent on fuel, our favourite camps, our least favourite camps, that sort of thing. If you have any questions you want us to answer, leave them in the comments below yeah, for this video. Here. And then we've got, yeah, a couple of other trips, some mountains we climbed, some islands we slept on, yeah, cool stuff. So stay tuned, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like. Next and, stop touring. Yeah. And overall guys, thank you for watching. Uh, we really Following appreciate it, yeah. yeah. Comments and, and all sorts of support, so yeah. Cheers. It doesn't any, end here. 